Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the To Blend or Not To Blend bins, which we are letting finish up. Is that a cocoon? It is, and it's a cocoon that's close to hatching too. Once they get that dark red color, it's only a matter of time. So that's awesome. Um, so basically, these are the bins that um, had either blended or whole food. And we were trying to wait and see if they were going to break down, which was going to break down faster. And we found that the blended and frozen food did much better than the whole scraps just took a lot longer. Um, but I did give these bins some food, if you guys recall, and these apples always seem to take so long to break down. Again, this was not frozen. That's why it takes so long. But um, the worms, some of them at least, are in the area, and this is just some food for them to work on while everything finishes composting because I want to harvest these bins pretty soon. Here's another apple. And some more worms. I'm actually gonna take this, let's see, this dowel here. I'm gonna puncture some holes because that will allow the microbes to get in here and it might start breaking down a little bit faster for us. I want to watch that worm. I don't want to get him. So I just pun punctured some holes in that one. Now I will puncture a few in this one as well. And again, always bury up your food scraps, especially fruit because it will attract fruit flies and other unwanted guests. These um, tins that I used for the experiment, I'm going to ditch them. Make sure that all the worms are out, but this bin doesn't need them anymore. So I think this was the blended bin. Yeah, I think so, because I'm not seeing the cabbage or the carrots. And those were still essentially whole last week when we checked in. But the castings in here look absolutely gorgeous. Everything is nice and flaky. It's not compact. It should be relatively easy to screen. So um, I'm just going to leave it be for now. And hopefully next week it will be good enough that I can pull those apples out and start these bins fresh. Um, we'll see. But I'm kind of tired of sitting and watching these bins and I'm looking to move forward sooner rather than later. But um, I will give these guys another week because I did several harvests this week. And time just did not permit me to do any more. So let's pop over to the whole scrap bin, see how that one is doing. And um, same plan will be to harvest next week. Okay, guys, so here's the whole scrap bin. Again, worms are looking healthy, castings nice and flaky. I'm not seeing signs of food anywhere, but I think those whole pieces are over on the other side. But these guys have done good work for me thus far. So, let's see here. Here's one of our tins. Make sure I get all the worms out and I'll take the tin out of here. It's a great suggestion by Wayne to use these tins. It's really helpful. 
and it's putting our tins to one more use before they hit the recycling or the garbage. So I'm seeing a good number of worms and this is a little bit of our cabbage. So I wonder if it's finally gotten to the point where it broke down on us. It feels wet down here, a little bit. But I'm not seeing signs of the carrots either. So must have finally reached a point where they could process it. Here's our other tin. But yeah, there's very little left over. Um, just a little tiny piece of cabbage. The rest of it looks like it's relatively well processed. Just a few little, few little residual pieces here and there. But that's really encouraging. And I'm hoping that since this bin is doing so well, we will be able to harvest both bins next week and we can get these guys started on a new journey for us which I think the plan well I did put apples in here I think the plan is going to be to test um, different forms of grit so to use a calcium based grit like eggshell versus just using a regular um, old like sand because um, cocoon production is said to need a little bit of calcium. So my thought process was that perhaps using um, sand wouldn't result in as many cocoons. So that will be the next experiment. We will test and see whether or not using um, eggshell versus sand makes a difference in reproduction in your bin. So. That's the plan moving forward. Next week we will get this harvested. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video and subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.